It is almost impossible to imagine an asteroid two or three miles wide striking Earth. It would release more force than the world's entire nuclear arsenal, and it would likely trigger a global earthquake measuring nine points on the Richter scale. Fundamentally, an asteroid is, is a body in space that is too small to be a planet. Any rock is an asteroid. It's the size of Texas, Mr. President. This month, Hollywood is banking on asteroid anxiety. The movie Armageddon centers on a fictional piece of space rock the size of Texas. As the movie goes, this huge asteroid is on a collision course with Earth. So how likely is it that an asteroid will actually strike Earth? Many scientists say it will happen eventually. And here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, they have an entire program devoted exclusively to the work of finding and then keeping tabs on what they call near-Earth asteroids. Imagine these asteroids as huge mountains floating around in space. It's like a cosmic game of billiards with some of the pool balls soaring our direction. Near-Earth asteroid is one which comes within about three uh, million miles of the Earth's orbit. Dr. Steve Pravdo is one of a select group of scientists who track asteroids that might be on a collision course with Earth. If you're a skeptic, take a look at this home movie. It was shot in 1972 in Wyoming. That is an asteroid streaking by Earth. This one didn't hit, but others have. In uh, 1908, there was an uh, asteroid strike in Siberia, which, which caused quite a bit of damage. In fact, many scientists believe the dinosaurs were killed off by a massive asteroid strike. The dinosaur killer asteroid, which was in the order of, of several miles across, is an occurrence that you would expect to see every 10 million years or so. Each month, scientists find a handful of near-Earth asteroids, and each year, JPL and NASA spend about $3 million scanning the sky. There are at least 600 known near-Earth asteroids, but scientists say there are likely thousands of others just waiting to be found. One of the, the goals of this $3 million a year program, which is to, um, to find all the asteroids big enough to cause a, uh, a, a worldwide calamity. All right, flight directors, I want the go, no, go for launch. The movie Armageddon strays from science in a very big way as a team of pseudo-astronauts try to land on the asteroid. Their solution is to drill into it and blow it up. Why don't we just send up 150 nuclear warheads and blast that rock apart? The movie is on the mark with the idea of using nukes. Scientists say that may be the only device powerful enough to deal with the real threat of an incoming asteroid. Try to uh, explode some uh, uh, missile next to it to steer it out of the way. We do know that a mile-wide asteroid will streak by Earth on October 26th in the year 2028. This is animation of the rock named XF-11. It will pass within 600,000 miles of Earth. That's twice as far away as the moon, but still a very close call. Its chance of straying off course and hitting Earth is less than zero. But what scientists really worry about are the asteroids we haven't found yet.